What's going on everybody? My name is Anthony and welcome back to another Minecraft Seed Showcase on my channel. Now today's Seed is amazing to be honest because you do get 14 villages, 11 desert temples and 2 dungeons and they're all pretty close to each other. So if you guys want to know what the Seed is then it will be displayed on the screen or in the description below as well as the coordinates to the villages, the temples and the dungeons. Now if you guys do enjoy the video then be sure to give this video a like as it is going to help me out a huge bunch and it's going to motivate me to upload more videos for you all. So yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get right into today's Seed. So as you can see I do spawn right next to an NPC village right here. And if you travel off in this direction, you will also encounter a desert temple right here. So we're going to check out the desert temples first in this seed. We're going to check out all 11 uh, desert temples and then we'll check out the 14 villages and then the two dungeons. So this is the first desert temple right here. And in the first chest we have some gold, the second we have some diamond horse armor, in the third we have a saddle, and in the final one we have another saddle and some gold. So it's not too great, I mean you do get some saddles and, and some horse armor, so if you find a horse then it's going to be really good for a horse. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. So let's go ahead and teleport to the second desert temple, which is located right here. And if we enter this temple and check out the chests, in the first chest we have some gold. The second we have an enchanted book, which is a pretty good one to be honest, and, the, uh, and we also have some iron as well. And in the third chest we have some diamonds, some iron and some emeralds. And in the final chest we have some gold. So the second temple is pretty good, I mean you get two diamonds, a book and an emerald, which is going to be awesome if you find a village. And of course there are 14 villages in the seed, so you could basically go to every village and see which villager gives the best trade. So we're going to teleport to the third temple right here. And uh, as you can see, it's located right here. And let's go ahead and enter it. And in the first chest, we have some gold and some iron. In the second, we have lots of iron right here, as you can see. In the third, we have some more iron. So we're stacking up on iron quite fast. And in the final one, we just have some bones, which is pretty bad, to be honest. So let's just get rid of those bones. Okay, so now we're going to teleport to the fourth temple in the seed. And it is located right here. So let's go ahead and check out the chest loot. In the first chest we have some iron and a saddle, in the second we have three diamonds, and in the third we have some gold, and in the fourth we have some more gold and a saddle. Uh, so we're actually stacking up on diamonds, uh, not extremely fast, but we're getting a bit of diamonds out of these temples, which is pretty good. And uh, we're now going to teleport to the fifth temple in the seed, and sorry if this gets a bit repetitive, but I promise that this is going to be well worth it if you do find all these temples and villages in the seed. And look at that chest, it's, uh, it's placed weirdly. Uh, but in the first chest we have some bones which is terrible and in the second one we just have some iron. In the third we have some uh, iron and gold and in the fourth we have some more iron and gold. So these temples aren't the best for loot. I mean you are stacking up on gold and iron pretty fast which is awesome. Uh, it saves you having to go caving and stuff like that and uh, there is like a mountain type thing over there. And we're now going to teleport to the sixth temple in the seed. So let's go ahead and check this out and check out the chest loot. So in the first chest we have another emerald. So that's going to be awesome for the 14 villagers. In the second we have a diamond and some iron. In the third we have lots of iron and some gold right here. And in the fourth we have three more diamonds. So we're now totaled up to uh, nine diamonds right here as you can see. And there's also a village right there. But that's part of the 14 villagers and we're not checking those out yet. So let's go ahead and teleport to the seventh desert temple in the seed. And let's just go ahead and check out the first chest where we have some gold and in the second we just have some terrible loot. In the third we have some gold and iron and in the fourth we have some iron ingots. So we've almost got a 64 stack of iron and we do indeed have a 64 stack of gold already so that's pretty cool. And we're now going to teleport to the eighth temple in the seed. So um... We get, we, we're moving on relatively fast with the temples and uh, in the first chest we have lots of gold right here so you are easily going to be able to make lots of golden apples and in the second we have some iron and a saddle in the third we have some more gold and in the final one we just have some more gold so that's a pretty bad temple to be honest but it's it's, it's all right I mean it's not that bad um, but we're now going to teleport to the ninth temple right here as you can see and uh, it's next to a cool little mountain right here and by the uh, sea. And uh, in the first chest we just have some terrible loot, in the second one we have some saddles and gold, uh, in this one we have some iron and some gold, and in this one we have some more iron and gold, so um, these chests are getting a bit repetitive I'll admit, but uh, I think the temple loot gets a little bit better 
uh, if we go to the 10th and 11th one. And this is the 10th Desert Temple right here, so let's go ahead and enter it and see what's in the chest. And we have some gold, some emeralds and gold, and some diamonds again, so we're now totaled to 12 diamonds. And then the final one, we have some gold and saddles. So we're now going to teleport to the 11th and final temple in the seed. Okay, so we are now at the 11th and final desert temple in the seed. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what we have in the chest. And we have some more gold and iron, some more gold and iron, and some more gold and iron, and some horse armor as well. And in the final one, we just have some gold. So I think the 10th temple and uh, two other temples were the best ones uh, in the temples, to be honest, because most of these temples just consisted of gold and iron, which is pretty good. I mean, you're going to get a lot of gold to make golden apples, and you're going to have a lot of iron uh, for iron tools and armor and stuff like that. And now we're going to move on to the villagers in the seed. So let's go ahead and teleport to the first village, which is actually the village we encountered at the spawn. And it doesn't have a blacksmith, but it does have a lot of food that you can take from it. So that's pretty good. And it's also next to a roof forest biome right here. And uh, the second thing we're going to teleport to is the second village, of course. So let's go ahead and teleport to the next village. And uh, this one is actually in a savannah biome, but again, no blacksmith. Uh, but it does have a lot of farms. As you can see, there's like one, two, three, four, I believe five or six farms uh, in this village. So that's pretty cool. And we're now going to teleport to the third village in the seed. Now, I think most of the blacksmiths come later on. Uh, in these villages and as you can see there are about five farms in this village but again no blacksmith but it's next to an extreme hills biome which is pretty cool i mean that biome is quite rare nowadays in the 1.7 update uh, but if we teleport to the fourth village we again have no blacksmith but there is a huge ravine right here where you can get coal and iron from and there's also a cool little mountain structure right here uh, so this village does look pretty cool and unique i mean it doesn't have a blacksmith but it is overall uh, pretty cool in my opinion, uh, but we're now going to teleport to the fifth village in the seed So let's go ahead and teleport to this and uh, this one's unique in a way as you do have uh, the library so you can get books for um, Making enchanted books and stuff like that and you also have horses and you have a forest biome right here and it's getting dark uh, So this seed review is taking quite a long time uh, but the next thing we're going to teleport to is the sixth village in the seed and I'm just going to go ahead and set the time so it doesn't get dark. Um, but yeah, this is the sick village in the seed. Again, this one doesn't have a blacksmith. It's probably the worst village out of all of them. But it does have um, quite a lot of farms and stuff. So you can get a lot of food, to be honest, out of these villages. Uh, but the next village we're going to teleport to is the seventh one. And I think this one has a blacksmith. Yes, it does. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the uh, blacksmith loot and as you can see you have seven obsidian uh, which is going to be awesome when it comes to making a nether portal and uh, we're now going to teleport to the eighth village in the seed and this one does too have a blacksmith so let's go ahead and open the chest and we actually have lots of iron stuff right here which is pretty cool and we're now going to teleport to the ninth village in this seed so let's teleport to this and as you can see there is once again um, a blacksmith. Sorry if, if this is a tad repetitive, but um, you know, I've got to get through uh, all of these villages and stuff And I think we almost have full iron armor and uh, we're now going to teleport to the 10th village in the seed So um, we're close to covering all of the villages. So um, there is again a blacksmith So there are quite a few blacksmiths in these villages. I mean almost all of them have a blacksmith I think half of these villages have blacksmith um, and as you can see, we now have full iron armor right here and an iron pickaxe and iron tools. So this is a really good survival seed um, for getting tools and stuff like that and armor to basically protect yourself. And uh, I don't know where my command block is, but um, wait, is it around? Oh, here it is. Okay, so we're now going to teleport to the 11th village in the seed. So let's go ahead and teleport to this. And this does too have a blacksmith. So let's go ahead and open the chest. And as you can see... We have four obsidians, so we can now basically make a nether portal, as you can see, and some more iron armor and stuff like that, and a savannah biome right there. And we're now going to teleport to the 12th village in the seed. As you can see, this one doesn't have a blacksmith, but it is in a savannah biome, and it's in a pretty cool location, as you do have this huge crater cave opening type thing right here, so that's pretty cool. You're bound to find some good stuff in that cave. Uh, so it's a pretty handy village to be honest and uh, you know you just have a lot of cave systems around this area so I think it's pretty cool. And the next thing we are going to teleport to is the 13th village in the seed. So as you can see 
this village does have a blacksmith so let's go ahead and check this out and as you can see we have more obsidian so you can now pretty much make an enchantment table so that's also awesome as you do get a lot of obsidian so it basically saves you from having to mine all of it and uh, we're now going to teleport to the final village in the seed, the 14th village. And as you can see, it's just a really, really small village. You know, you've just got a house and a little house right here and one farm. And you've also got a lava thing right here, which is probably going to burn it down in the future. So this is basically a useless village, but it's a pretty unique one to top off all of the villages in this seed. So uh, the next thing I'm going to teleport to are the dungeons. So let's go ahead and teleport to the first dungeon in the seed. And I've actually cleared it out right here, as you can see. So let's open up the chest. And as you can see, we only have some bread, a bucket, and a name tag and stuff like that. Let's put the redstone back. We don't really need that. Uh, but there's only one chest for this dungeon, which is a bit of a letdown. Uh, but the final thing we're going to teleport to is the second dungeon. This is the last thing uh, in the seed right here. And again, there is only one chest, so that is a bit of a letdown. Uh, but you do have uh, music discs and saddles and stuff like that. But that pretty much concludes the seed showcase. I mean, there is a lot of things in this seed. I mean, you get 14 villages, 11 temples, and you get 12 diamonds. I mean, I was hoping for more diamonds out of this seed, to be honest, but um, hey, what can you do? Uh, so yeah. Anyways, guys, that basically concludes today's seed showcase. I really hope you all enjoyed. Sorry if you didn't. I mean, it might have been a bit repetitive with all the villages and temples. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's seed showcase. If you did enjoy, then be sure to give this video a like as it is going to help me out. And if you guys want to leave a comment below, then be sure to do so as I do love responding to the comments. Sorry I haven't been uploading recently. It's just that... I don't know, I haven't had time because, you know, I'm at my last week of college and I've got to finish all my work and stuff like that, so I can't really upload. I'll be able to upload lots of videos on Thursday because that's when I finish and I'll be able to start my YouTube because I'll be uh, off for summer and stuff like that, but that's basically it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to share this video and everything if you enjoyed it and... Uh that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed the seeds. Seeds on the screen or in the description as well as the coordinates and... Yeah, I'm gonna go now. That, that was a hard seed video to make, you know, that was a lot of villages and temples to set up. Uh, so I hope it was all worth it, you know, because hopefully this video is gonna get a good response. And that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!